Abram Zutzkeva, a Jewish poet born in Lithuania, wished to give his testimony in Yiddish, but was obliged to speak Russian. Afterwards, he wrote freely of his experience in Nuremberg. For the two nights before my court appearance, I did not sleep a wink. I could see my mother, naked, fleeing across the snow-covered field. The hot blood that ran from her bullet-riddled body began to run down the walls of my room and encircle me. Uh, you must sit down if you wish. Twice I said that I did not wish to sit, as others did. I spoke standing up, as if to recite the Kaddish for those who had died. Please tell me, witness, where were you at the time of the German occupation? In the city of Vilnius. You lived in this city for a long time during the German occupation? I lived there from the first to nearly the last day of the occupation. You witnessed the persecution of the Jews in that city? I would like you to tell the court about this. When the Germans captured my city, Vilnius, about 80,000 Jews lived there. The manhunters of the Zonderkommando, or grabbers as the Jews called them, would break into Jewish houses at any time, day or night, drag away the men, instructing them to take a piece of soap and a towel. And herd them into certain buildings near the town of Panare, about eight kilometers from Vilnius. From there, hardly one returned. When we reached the old synagogue, I saw a pile of wood stacked in the shape of a pyramid. A German drew his revolver and told us to take off our clothes. Once we were naked, he lit a match and set fire to the stack of wood. Then another German brought out of the synagogue three Torah scrolls, gave them to us, and ordered us to dance around this bonfire, singing Russian songs. Behind us stood the three Germans. They forced us at bayonet point toward the fire, laughing the whole time. When we were almost at the point of collapse, they left. I must say that the mass extermination of the Jewish people in Vilnius began at the moment when District Commissioner Hans Hinks arrived as well as the expert on Jewish matters, Murr.